What's up everyone, Coach Lucas here. Today we have a cooking show. So I was actually inspired to do this um, uh, by Juan and Cheyenne Dominguez. I spent uh, a week or so with uh, them and their family training their son. And uh, we were talking about things to do to help players with nutrition. And um, one of the ideas we came up with was uh, a youth athlete cookbook. And so I thought about that a lot and uh, writing a cookbook and finding a publisher and doing all that sounded complicated. So I just thought uh, we'd do a uh, YouTube video on some key nutritional ways to cook up a good meal. This is Luca. Luca's gonna be helping us cook today. Say hi, Luca. So today we have uh, Coach Lucas's favorite chicken bowl. We're gonna do a chicken bowl. So hope you guys enjoy it. We gotta start with our ingredients. Our ingredients here, we've got some broccoli, some good old fashioned broccoli. Uh, let's see what my wife brought home for me today. Some Andy Boy broccoli. We've got uh, good old fashioned cherry tomatoes. We've got some good organic chicken breasts. Uh, we're gonna do some baby bella mushrooms. And uh, we're gonna use a zesty Italian dressing to, uh, to make everything good, taste good. So the zesty Italian dressing, low calorie. It's got some ingredients here that, um, not the best ingredients in here. We've got some Xanthac, Xanthax gum or whatnot. But uh, the point is, all of this stuff's gonna be raw, raw vegetables, raw nutrition. And uh, that's the point here, is having a nutritious meal so we can improve our performances, um, whether you're, you're a parent or a player. Here joining us is my wife, Melanie. Say hello, Melanie, to our guests, our YouTube channel guests. She's wearing her uh, fine apron that she likes to wear when she's cooking up a storm in the kitchen. So she, uh, she's gonna be helping me along with the kids and we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing. Oh, it's important to note that we are not uh, nutritionists or health professionals. So if you see anything that we're doing here that's um, not restaurant uh, grade quality, don't worry about it. Okay, so we have, we have our chicken freshly prepared, salt and pepper, some oregano, we've got our tomatoes, we added some cilantro in here for taste. We've got uh, our mushrooms ready to go to be sauteed, and we have our uh, broccoli here that's gonna be roasted. So again, this is called a performance bowl or a power bowl or a chicken bowl. We're taking all these ingredients, we're gonna heat them all up, and at the end, we're gonna combine them all together to make it look really nice, really delicious, really tasty. And again, this is all good food that's gonna be uh, good for you and your performances, for your players, for your families, and um, it's convenient. So let's get to it. So here, the, the key with rice is that it's one cup rice, two part, two, one part rice, two parts water. So whatever servings you're doing with the rice, you want to double the servings with water when you heat it. Okay, one part rice, go ahead and pour it. One, two, three, good job. Now we need two cups of water. What you wanna to do to cook the rice is turn the, turn the temperature up as high as you can and heat it quickly to boiling. This is the Chef Ramsay way, okay? I learned this from the, the guy. So you cook it as hot as you can and you get the water boiling quickly, all the way to boiling. And then as soon as it hits boiling, bang, you turn it on to simmer and that's how you cook rice. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes. We're not gonna do that now because it takes time for the other stuff to cook. So you wanna make sure this is, everything's timely here. When, uh, when it finishes, you wanna try to make everything end at the same time. Okay, so we're starting with the chicken first. We're gonna heat this up first. Why? Because the chicken's gonna take the longest. And we're gonna cook it with some good coconut oil. We're not gonna use that industrial oil, the, the canola oil or the olive oil. Sometimes that can cause inflammation. We try, wanna try to avoid the industrial oil. So best next thing is, uh, is the coconut oil. So we're just gonna take a nice little tablespoon here. We're using a cast iron. Got the temperature on medium. Once this thing is melted through, we will add our chicken. All right, and we're gonna use a cover here on the chicken. So it's, it acts as a nice cast iron, uh, 
fry. We're, gonna, we're frying it, but we're also gonna kinda bake it and use this, this cover to bake it as well. Next up is the broccoli. So we've got the broccoli on a cookie sheet here. It's salted, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of a drizzle. We're gonna pop this thing in the oven, 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or so. Next up, we're gonna saute the mushrooms. So that's just gonna go in this pan here. Just gonna pop it on here, add some coconut oil, let this thing just saute a little bit. Um, probably add some tin foil, put some tin foil on top of this so that it can just heat up without, without the moisture escaping. So we wanna kinda keep the, the moisture locked in. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna make our sauce. So the sauce here is a zesty Italian dressing and we're just gonna add some honey. The reason for the honey is to give it a little bit of sugar, a little extra sugar, and what the sugar does when you heat it up, it caramelizes, give it, gives that sauce a thickness to it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna turn this on to high heat, chicken's on medium heat, mushrooms are on medium heat, and we're, gonna, we're about to start the rice here in a second. All right, so our sauce is going nice and strong. Our chicken's looking really good. Our mushrooms are looking good, nice and saute. We're gonna slow down the heat on this. It's already looking pretty good. And we're gonna heat this up to high heat, the rice to get that going, because we're about 10, 15 minutes out from everything being done. So far, so good. All right, so while that's cooking, I wanna share with you guys uh, Dr. D's. This is a really good live probiotic. Uh, it's got electrolytes, vitamins, digestive enzymes, and amino acids, so it's kinda like kombucha, but uh, the sugar, the carbohydrates are, are like super, super low. So it's a really good drink, it's really delicious. There's a ton of different flavors. I'd recommend checking this out, one of my favorites. Just wanted to share that, share that with you. My grandpa actually shared with me a secret I'm gonna share with you guys. Half of cooking, half of cooking, half of the meal is all about the presentation. So that's what we're gonna get into now. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks to make it look delightful. Am I making this too weird? All right, so first thing's done is broccoli. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this guy, these guys. Broccoli looks delicious. All right, so this is one of the tips I wanna show you. Melanie's gonna show you the, uh, the rice preparation trick. Go ahead, and go ahead. And. Nice. Ooh, nice, nicely done, hun. We've got some good oily chicken sauce here, some broth, some nice chicken broth. We're gonna take that in the spoon, we're just gonna drizzle that right on the rice, give that rice some good flavor. Boom, boom, so really, we give that rice some, some good flavor, there we go. Okay, we're gonna put a little mushroom on this guy. So we're gonna put a little mushroom in here. Yep, last thing we're gonna add is the sauce and then we'll put the tomato on. And then we'll top things off here with a little bit of garnish. Boom. All right, so this, this is a performance bowl. We've got some good veggies, we've got some mushrooms, good for digestion, we've got our carbohydrates, the rice, some good tomatoes, some cilantro, a delicious sauce, some chicken, the protein, some good lean protein. This is what you're looking for. Pre-training, pre-games, cooks in 30 minutes, prepared in 15 minutes. This is what you can do to improve your performances. All right, so one ingredient we forgot is a crucial ingredient is avocado. Avocado is delicious, really makes the meal, rounds out the meal. It's good quality fat, so it's good for performances and replenishing the body with the calories that it needs. Uh, when you buy the avocados, just make, make sure that you're ripe so you can actually eat them. Listening. All right, and then I'm gonna get you on camera, get scor scoring, being the judge. Oh, want... ah, here we go. It tastes like Chinese food. <laughs> 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 